Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to see you. You may be wondering why all four of us are standing like this. Uh, I was uh, thinking that uh, answer is a simple. You know that when I visited the Cuba, the Havana, I had my hair cut. Now we are thinking of having barbershop quartet. Joking aside, uh, it's a, again a great pleasure to see you. I have something to announce today in person. As you know, uh, Martin Nezoki has been working as my spokesperson during the last over four years. Uh, during that time, he has traveled almost as many miles as I have done. He wakes up uh, even much earlier than I do, uh, much, much earlier, uh, just to make sure that uh, I am fully briefed what has happened uh, while we were sleeping. So I have been really enjoying and appreciating uh, his providing me from early in the morning, the old flash uh, news and development of the situation around the world, so that I can be fully aware of what has happened, and so that I could be able to answer exactly what, uh, uh, whenever I was approached by you. It was quite, uh, uh, it must have been quite difficult for him, but uh, I have really uh, benefited a lot from his uh, hard work. Now, he has been at my side uh, during uh, especially a tumultuous, a tumultuous um, a period in world affairs. Uh, throughout that time, uh, he has been a model uh, spokesperson of the United Nations, accessible, authoritative, cool under pressure, and fast on his feet, and quick with a joke. He has appeared before you almost every day at noontime to take your slings and uh, arrows. The job is one in which a few notice when you succeed. The scrutiny is, has been always intense, uh, the spotlight as bright as it gets. Martin Nezaki has showed his metal day in and day out. Uh, he has functioned at the top of the craft. Recently, he informed me personally that uh, because of his some family uh, family issues, he wanted to have some another uh, position. I think after four years, he might have been also very much uh, tired, but it's a good time for him to uh, uh, be somewhere else. 
Now, uh, I had hoped and anticipated that he would stay longer, but I should also respect his uh, personal uh, wishes and circumstances. I'm immensely grateful to Martin Nezoki uh, for his hard work and for his uh, stellar service, his sound advice, and his uh, friendship. Sometimes uh, he addressed me straight face to face and ad advised me something which I always accepted and which turned out to be always uh, correct. And I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, he will be with us uh, in New York until March 7th and will soon thereafter take on a due assignment in UN office in uh, Vienna, uh, Austria. Now, to, for his uh, successor, as you have already known, uh, since he is uh, standing here, uh, Stefan Duzalik, uh, who is known to you all already, uh, since he was a uh, spokesperson uh, during the last time of my predecessor. And he also spent uh, some time uh, during my first year in the executive office uh, as um, a director in that office. And I really appreciate it. And his most recent uh, job is, as you know very well, a director of a news and media division in the Department of Public Information. He will take up his new duties as of March 10th, March 10th. Then Farhan Haq, uh, he has been uh, working as a sort of an acting uh, spokesperson, uh, acting deputy spokesperson. Now, I am very pleased to appoint him as uh, formally, formally, officially, the uh, deputy spokesperson. Uh, they will become uh, one uh, good team. I thank all my spokespersons uh, for their commitment to me and to the United Nations and organization. And I thank you to all of you for your strong support and friendly advice and very harmonious uh, working relationship with uh, Martin Nezoki. I'm sure and I expect that the same will be given to uh, uh, Stefan Duzarik and the uh, Foreign Heart in the future. And I thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Well, as, as the Secretary General said, uh, first of all, uh, I'm not gone just yet. <laughs> and I'm not going to start out with a barbershop quartet either, despite my haircut. <laughs> I'll uh, be briefing you right after this, uh, as usual, and right up to the last day on uh, March uh, the 7th. And secondly, and most importantly, I'd like to thank the Secretary General for his uh, really very generous words. and. Uh, his friendship to me and, uh, importantly, his deep trust and confidence in me over the past four and a quarter years here in New York and on the many trips that uh, the Secretary General mentioned. It's clearly an immense privilege to work as a spokesperson to any Secretary General, and it's been a huge honor for me to serve this Secretary General in particular. It was not an easy decision, I can assure you, to to take, uh, to leave a job that I love so much. Um, but I think I've made the right choice at this time. And the Secretary General was gracious enough and understanding enough to allow me to, to move on. Uh, finally, the Secretary General has uh, typically chosen wisely in appointing Stefan as the new spokesperson and Farhan as Stefan's uh, deputy. As the Secretary General said, neither needs any introduction to you. They're good friends to me and I know to you and good colleagues and uh, true professionals. Uh, you in the press corps and the Secretary General are in very safe hands. Thank you very much. And I think Stefan may wish to say something too. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Martin. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, I do want to thank you very much for your trust and your confidence. Um, and it's, it's an honor to be able to serve you in this capacity. It's also an honor to be able to uh, follow Martin's footsteps. And I think I've, I've known a few spokesmen for secretary generals in my days, um, and I don't think any has had the access or has been as trusted as an advisor to a secretary general as Martin has. So he has set the alarm clock early, 
uh, for me, unfortunately, and he's also set the bar very high. And um, I look forward to working with Farhan, and I think I look forward to working with all of you. Uh, thank God it's still Martin's podium until March uh, 7th, but I will see you on the 10th. And again, Mr. Secretary General, thank you very much. It's your show. It's, it's and your it's show. back, back <laughs> to the normal routine now. So oh, okay. thank you thank very you. much again, thank Secretary you. General. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Should I sing? Uh. <laughs>